Always a pleasure to welcome Oakville MP and the Minister of National Defense, Anita Anand, joining us on Halton News. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me, Jason. Great to see you. Great to see you as well. And you are coming back from a very big trip, Scotland, Kuwait, and Jordan, uh, to thank Canadian Armed Forces members deployed abroad before the holidays. Do you have any memories or highlights that stick out that you can share about the trip? Most definitely. One of my favorite things to do, Jason, is to hear directly from the Canadian Armed Forces members and to thank them for their service to our country. In Scotland, I was thanking our pilots and uh, Canadian Armed Forces members for transporting aid to Ukraine on behalf of our allies. And they've transported flight after flight about 5 million pounds of aid, Jason. Then in Kuwait, I was thanking the op impact Canadian Armed Forces members who are at Camp Canada and they are making sure that our command and control of our operations in the Middle East are running effectively. And then in Jordan, meeting with Canadian Armed Forces members who are working as trainers and mentors and advisors to build the capacity of the Jordanian Armed Forces was also a highlight. But thanking the troops wherever they are in Canada or abroad is a real privilege. Yeah, definitely. Now, I, you know, I want to talk a little bit about perspective with you. Is it tough to go from seeing, you know, countries that are on the brink of war, maybe right in war like Ukraine, um, and seeing what people are going through over there and then coming back to Canada more locally, you know, in Oakville and have residents complain maybe about things that are, that comparatively, they seem so minor. I mean, how do you wrap your head around that after seeing what you see? Well, it's really not minor. I mean, our government continues to be focused on Canadians and investing in Canadians, especially during times uh, of economic hardship. For example, in affordable childcare this past March, we signed an agreement with the Ontario government to cut childcare fees in half for Ontario families by the end of the year. And we're going to reach that goal, Jason, by December 31st, saving families in Oakville and Ontario on average up to $6,000 per child. And by 2026, we're on track to deliver $10 a day childcare. So that's the type of thing that we need to keep being focused on even in times of heightened global tensions and the issues that I'm working on every day. You know, we've seen that, of course. We've also seen the Child Dental Benefit Program that has popped up as well this year, which has been, you know, overwhelmingly successful already as far as applicants have gone. That's that's some great progression in 2022. Looking ahead to 2023, uh, what is in store from the federal government to continue to help with um, Canadians that are fighting against the rising cost of living? Well, I'm glad you mentioned the dental benefit because as of December 1st, families with a net income of over $90,000 who have a child under 12 were eligible um, for a payment of up to $650 per child. So we're going to keep rolling out that benefit, Jason. In addition, we're making sure that we're there in terms of rent support payments and a one-time payment of about $500 uh, for low-income families to help with the cost of housing. Those are the types of investments that we're going to continue to make for Canadians. And I know that my colleagues across uh, government, including Minister Freeland, are working very hard on this. So we are, of course, in the holiday season. And I know world events do not stop, but I think sometimes people forget that public figures like yourself are also humans. Do you get a break around the holidays? And what does the Anon holiday celebration look like? Oh, Jason, I can always count on you for a very interesting question like that. Um, of course, uh, I'm a mom to four kids whom I love very, very much. And they're on their way home now. So I can't wait to spend some time with them. Uh, in in terms of downtime, I hope to have some downtime, but by the same token, we are in an era of heightened global uh, tensions, and I need to make sure that I'm at all times doing the job for Canadians that the Prime Minister has entrusted me to do.
Well, I hope you do get a bit of downtime. I hope you get some family time to spend uh, with your children uh, around the holidays, you know, at least uh, a day or two, and then right back to it in 2023. Minister Anand, always a pleasure to chat with you. Look forward to catching up again in 2020. Well, thanks, Jason. Um, I love Oakville so much. It's a beautiful sunny day here and uh, couldn't be more happy to be in Oakville. I just want to say that for any kids out there who want to track Santa, the website is noradsanta.org. And if you want to write to our Canadian Armed Forces members and say thank you or wish them well over the holidays, you can do that through the Canadian Armed Forces website as well. All the best to you, Jason, and everyone here in Oakville and Halton. Happy holidays.